So I'm going to show you a very brief clip. Uh, we took a call. We actually took a question, an online emailed question on The Ramsey Show. I'm co-host of The Ramsey Show. Um, and I'm on usually once, twice a week. Uh, what was formerly the Dave Ramsey Show, now is The Ramsey Show. And I was co-hosting recently with Rachel Cruz. And we took a question, and I read the question. You're going to see the question. And this is going to set up why I'm going to talk to stay-at-home moms and those who support stay-at-home moms and those who aren't stay-at-home moms. Because I had no idea this was a viral clip. 1.4 million and counting people have seen this and are commenting on it. Here is the moment. How do you feel about women being stay-at-home moms and not bringing in an income after they have a baby? Do you feel like that is an unwise financial decision? No. It's an important season. No one should shame a mom for wanting to work at home because that's what it is. It's Stay not like you're eating home, bonbons mom, and always watching. Always like, yeah. I'm yeah. like, oh my God, you're not staying anywhere. You are running around well, would you still. add to that as a professional mom? Yeah, I mean, I would say you're saving on childcare. There was a study that was run. The mileage the average mom drives, the food that she cooks, the house that she cleans. If you were to outsource all of that, one point two million dollars. Yeah. So there it goes. So so we so Rachel shared that on her Instagram and I think TikTok as well, and I shared it on mine. And so the thing went bananas. And I mean, over the overwhelming response is from stay-at-home moms. They're saying, "Thank you, Ken, for saying that." And I'm going, "Well, I'm, yeah, I, my wife is a stay-at-home mom. She has also been a working mom." My mom was a stay-at-home mom for 11 years of my life. And then the others until 18, so another seven years, she was a professional working woman. So spare the vitriol. For those of you that are snowflakes and don't know what vitriol means, let me dumb it down for you. It means spare the hate. Because my mom was a stay-at-home mom and a working outside-the-home mom. My wife, the same. So spare me. I actually understand what it's like to support both. I was raised by one. My wife is raising our kids as one. So shut up and just listen. So I, I did some research. I put out another Instagram post. You can go check it out at Ken Coleman. And I basically cited this study. What does the research say? The pros and cons of being a stay-at-home mom. Now, again, working moms. If you have to work, I honor you as much as I do a stay-at-home mom. Let's get that out of the way. If a stay-at-home mom can stay at home and work from home mom in the home for the family, and they can do it, and they want to do it, then bless God, they should do it. But if you're on the other side and you cannot do it, then I, I honor you. And here's another one. If you don't have to work for the money, but you want to work because of your unique contribution, I'm the purpose at work guy. I'm for you too. No mom guilt at all. My point here is I am loving on the stay-at-home moms because culture does tend to bang on them a good bit and say you aren't doing what's best for your family because you aren't helping the hubs work. And so I'm just calling it out. So I am for working moms because that's what they all are. You either work outside of the home or you are working your fanny off in the home. Can I get an amen? All right. So what are the pros? This is a, uh, uh, this is a study, uh, and I'll source it here in a minute. I don't have it. It doesn't matter. Here we go. I cited it on my Instagram post. That's going to work for today. What are the pros of being a stay-at-home mom? An increase in the child's school performance. And again, it doesn't mean... That if you're working outside the home, that your kid's going to be a flunky. It's just that there are there is data that shows that your child's school performance can and does increase when you are in the home. The child has less stress and aggression. Again, it's got that anchoring, mooring mom in their life. Just go do your research, those of you who want to shoot holes in everything. Just go do the research on the powerful psychology between the child and the mother when the child comes out of the womb. I mean, the umbilical cord. Like the, the, Some of you who are like, and you're all science, why don't you just go see what science says about the connection, the literal connection. It's a powerful bond between mother and child. Go look at the research on what happens when that bond is broken. 
greater involvement in the child's day-to-day life when you can be working in the home, stay-at-home mom. Then they you're just more involvement. That's good for the child. And then there's a sense of purpose and satisfaction that I believe I'm supposed to be here and I want to be here and I'm able to be here. And so that's a positive. Now let's look at the cons. Let me show you all sides of this deal. Uh, Thank you. Very Well Family is the uh, source of the article in the study. Cons for stay-at-home moms. Many times the ladies desire to go back to the workplace. And And I get these calls and I say, look, this is a season, not a sentence. It's a season, not a sentence. Go back. You got a lot to offer when you decide to go back. Uh, a lot of times, stay-at-home moms have higher levels of sadness, depression, and anger because what is going on here is you're in a high-stress situation with the kiddo or kiddos, and you feel isolated. So you need to get you some mommy groups. You need to get you some activities, right? If we're saving money by you being home, then you you pay your you go get yourself a cycle class or or a, 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 a spa day. Like you got to take care of you. This is not over. This is not something you can't overcome. Social isolation for the parent and a loss of income. That's right. It's a sacrifice. Okay? There's no question it's a sacrifice. 60, 60% of Americans believe that the choice is best for children, the choice to come home and have one working parent. Now, a lot of dudes are doing this, so we got stay-at-home dads out. I don't want to ignore these guys. This is the world we live in. I go out and I love on stay-at-home moms, and then I get six people going, what about the stay-at-home dads? I'll tell you, it's not a post about stay-at-home dads. If I go out and say the sun, getting vitamin D in your life, getting sun in your life is good. What about the moon? I'm not talking about the moon. I'm talking about the sun, you dolt. So this is therapeutic for me because I don't comment to those trolls on social. I just, I get therapy by making fun of you on the show. Um, the, the role in stay-at-home dads is increasing. Now, here's some warnings. If you make this decision for your child, for your family, understand that you are a person and you cannot give what you do not have. So mamas, daddies that are staying home, if your mental health is frayed, if your physical health, you're there and you're eating all the little uh, goldfish with your kids and you're putting on some weight, like that's that's a trap, that's a warning. Your physical, your mental, your emotional health is under pressure just like it would be in a high-pressure job in the workforce. Because let me tell you something, there ain't a more high-pressure job on the planet than a stay-at-home mama. I'm just going to tell you. Don't tell me that it's less stressful than being an astronaut, for crying out loud, which to me is very stressful. I don't know why I've got that in my mind, but I think being an astronaut going up on that rock is pretty freaking stressful. Well, guess what? That happens to a mom by 9 a.m. every day. You all right? You have a toddler melting down, all right? pooped their diaper, took it off, threw it all over the house. I mean, that's nothing. Put me in a rocket and send me to space. I can handle that. 